program to add five, two, and seven. We're saying for us to add five, two, and seven, we need to do, we need to follow a certain, a certain, there's a process we need to go through. So step number one would be, would be load five into register eight. This is me writing down the steps I'm going to follow. You can write down whatever steps you wish to. I've decided to say step number two, I'm going to load two into register nine. Step three is load seven into register 10 or something, right? And then step number three, I'm going to say add, add five and two. And then finally I will say add result of five and two with seven. And then done, I would have finished. You notice that if I follow these, these steps here, I will, I will be able to evaluate five plus two plus seven, right? Uh, loading into five is easy, load, load register five, uh, into, uh, load the number five into register eight, load the number two into register nine, right? You notice if I write down the pseudo instruct, the pseudo code I'm going to use, it becomes relatively easy to just write down the instructions, right? You, in, in fact, I, I encourage you to use pseudo instructions even in the exam if a question comes like this, right? It's a lot easier to avoid mistakes like that because you, you, you know exactly how to translate load five into a register, right? And then in line number 10, I'm just going to add uh, five and two. And I know five is in eight, two is in nine. And I'll just say add, I'll put into 10, into 11, sorry. Uh, I will put register nine, I'll put the result of register nine and register eight. And then finally, I will say I am going to put in register 12, what is in register 11 and where seven is, which is register 10. And then I'm done, right? Sorry? <coughs> well, I was saying it's, not really more powerful, but it's, it's a more elegant way of writing things. What I could have done is said, instead of 12, I'll just put 11 here and save this. Right. So if I execute this, you notice that uh, it works just fine. I'll run it and uh, I'll be able to see the answer here into the registers. I see eight has 11, you know, nine has two, 10 has uh, seven, and I know five plus two plus seven is E, right? Which is correct. 14. Can you guys see that? Right. Is this making sense? So it's, the, the idea here is to just make sure that you do this piecewise. You understand that uh, there are certain things that even though you can do, uh, math, especially mathematical expressions, even if you can do them in one line normally, but when it comes to execution of the instructions by the machine, it has to be done based on the whole instruction set that the machine understands. MIPS x86.